Hi, Fab Girls. Today, I'm going to share with you why I think it's important to follow some mature fashion icons, and I'm going to tell you my top three that I follow. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I'm Tracy Gold, and it is my absolute passion to bring you fashion tips that make you look and feel fabulous. If you don't already know, I give tips that generally women over the age of 40 will relate to, because I too am over the age of 40, and I don't know about you, but I am not ready to give up on fashion and fun and expressing myself with the way that I dress. Coming up soon, I'll be doing a series of videos for Over 40 Styling on how to add pops of color to your wardrobe, how to find the perfect dress, how to find the perfect pair of jeans. So make sure to subscribe so that you don't miss out. So fashion icons, why are they important? Well, I want to see women older than myself and all the same age as myself doing it and looking good and not giving up on themselves just because they're getting older. You know, we're often bombarded with a whole lot of messages around being young and youthful, etc. Well, the fashion industry is changing and it's finally starting to listen that women, as we are over 40 and up, definitely are not ready to give up on this whole fashion thing. And we want to see images of women who are doing it with such style. So this brings me to my top three. My number one top favorite is Iris Apfel. And if you don't know her, you have got to check her out. She's in her 90s and she's looking amazing. She puts together these completely amazing Iris type outfits and she wears so many accessories. I don't even know how she handles the weight of them, but she looks great. And I love how she often encourages people to play with it and not take it so seriously. It's just fashion after all. I mean, if it doesn't out if the outfit doesn't work, you just do a new one the next day. It's not a big deal. My second is Linda Rodin. And the reason why I love her is that she's got this sassy kind of rebellious look, but she still looks soft and feminine. I know it sounds completely contradictory, but she actually tends to do it really well. She also has her signature look with her son, with her glasses or her sunglasses, and she wears very little makeup except for her bold lipstick. Now, what I also really admire about Linda is that she's not a fan of plastic surgery and she doesn't encourage it. Now, listen, let me just absolutely say, I do not judge women who want to go for plastic surgery. And if that's what you want to do, then by all means do it. But for me, I find it really encouraging to see women who are already older than myself doing it, looking good, fantastic, without the plastic surgery. And for me, I find that encouraging. And hey, if you're enjoying this video, then please feel free to like it and share it with your friends. I think as women, we need to encourage one another to look and feel fabulous, no matter what age we are. So just share it, ladies. Share, share, and share some more. My third is Stella McCartney. Now, she's a similar age to me, and she always looks good when I see her, but she also has a natural look about her. She wears her own clothing and her focus as a designer is to make clothes that women look and feel good in but are comfortable and still can get on with their busy days. I find that great. I also love that she develops products that are animal and cruelty friendly, which is really inspirational in this kind of industry. Thanks for watching this video and if you liked it and you found it useful, please let me know and put something in the comments below. It's great for me to get your feedback and to know what it is that you like and what you'd maybe like me to do more of so I can make sure to bring you fashion tips that make you look and feel fabulous.